New Year's resolutions. Do you make them? I do almost every single year. I know that a lot of people don't make them every year and some people think that they're ridiculous and most people don't stick to them. I probably don't stick to most of mine half the time, but I like to make them anyways. First, I'm gonna start off with like my fitness goals for this year. I want to finish Insanity and I'm pissed at myself that I stopped doing it and I was doing so well. It makes me very upset that I didn't keep going with it, but I'm going to restart it again and I want to finish a round of Insanity, hopefully more than one round of Insanity. My second resolution is to lose a lot of weight before my sister's wedding, which is in June. I have a lot of time, so hopefully I can reach that goal. And my third goal for fitness would be to get down to my goal weight. You know, I have been struggling for a couple of years now with trying to lose weight. I don't play sports regularly, so it's very difficult for me to get back into the rhythm of how I was a couple of years ago. My goal weight, I will tell you guys, it's 135 pounds. I'm 5'7", so that's, you know, not unrealistic at all for me to weigh that much. I used to weigh that much. So I really hope this is the year. I hope I find my motivation. My next goal slash resolution is to complete a round of P90X. I started this a while ago, probably last year. I started it, I got through about three weeks of it, and I just lost my motivation. I, I don't really, I don't have any excuses for it. I just, like I said, I just need to get in the motivation to work out. It's, it's hard for me now. I know that it's hard for a lot of people and it didn't used to be hard for me. And it's probably one of my biggest regrets is not keeping with my fitness after I broke my ankle. It, it just, it, it completely derailed me breaking my ankle a couple of years ago and it, I haven't been the same since and I really need to get back to the way I was because I it's it's hard. I don't it, I, I I can't even explain it. I'm sorry guys. So the next two are book related and the first one is to stop buying books. I have way too many and I haven't read over half of them. And I really need to, so hopefully that will help me to uh, read more of the books that I already own and stop buying books that I don't need at the moment. <laughs> the next one is to read at least three books a month. Hopefully I can read at least four books a month. That would be about one book a week and that's my ultimate goal, but I want to just surpass what I did last year, which was 35. I'm, just, I'm a terrible reader. I read ridiculously slow, and I wish it wasn't like that. I wish that wasn't the case. I know some people can read like 40 pages in like 20 minutes. I read like 40 pages in an hour. I've timed myself, and sometimes it's less, sometimes it's a little bit more depending on the font. It's really kind of pathetic, and it really makes me mad, but yeah, I'm just hoping for at least 36 books. The next thing would be to consistently upload YouTube videos. I started this channel a year ago and I slacked, no not a year ago, like two years ago. I took off a year. I didn't upload videos for a whole entire year and I came back and I've kind of been slacking, uh, you know, coming back and I just really hope this year I am way more consistent with putting videos up. I like to record a lot of videos all in one sitting so that's why a lot of my videos I'll be wearing the same exact clothes. I feel like until I get into a groove of uploading them regularly this would be the best way for me to make sure that I'm consistently uploading them for you guys because I really I really enjoy doing this and I want to make videos for you guys. I like making videos for myself. It's, it's fun but I just am a huge procrastinator so hopefully I won't have that problem this year. One other thing that I want to do is I want to do uh, like a book wrap up at the end of each month. Hopefully I will have enough books read that I can do a wrap up. Hopefully I will have at least four books read that I can do a wrap up for you guys at the end of each month. The next two are just kind of personal. Um, 
One would be to keep playing the guitar. That was has been my resolution for a while now. I've had a guitar for a while and a couple years now. And I just finally started playing it regularly. I just... I, I don't know what took me so long to learn how to play the guitar, but I've learned a couple songs now and I really enjoy doing it and I just really hope that I can stick with it. My last one is kind of, um, you know, ridiculous. I would like to keep my room clean, which is just, it's terrible. I, I'm really horrible with keeping my room clean and I think that's one of the reasons why I don't film videos as often because I don't have the room on my floor to set up my lights and my camera because my room is a disaster. <laughs> so if I keep my room clean, maybe I'll film more videos for you guys. So hopefully I can stick to every single one of these goals slash resolutions. I have a track record of procrastinating and not sticking to my resolutions, but we're gonna see. I'm, d I'm gonna say that I can do it. I'm going to. I'm gonna do it, Brittany. You're going to do it. So. Yeah, let me, let me know what your guys' 2014 resolutions are, or if you do resolutions, or goals, or whatever you like to call them. They're basically the same exact thing. So I hope we can all stick to them this year, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!